And now for your real champion. I call this segment Faith of Our Fathers. The Latin word vocatio means a calling. From Latin, we derive the words vocal and vocation. Most people in life are fortunate if they hear the call to one vocation, which becomes a passion. Here's the story of a man who had the grace to respond to three separate calls and do them all with great dedication and humble service. Jim Cardosi grew up in the Philadelphia area, attended Bishop Kenrick High School, and was thrilled to earn an appointment to the U.S. Naval Academy. He looks back on his plebe year, their freshman year, as one of the hardest years of his life. But the discipline he mustered to make it through would provide the fuel he needed for future life challenges. While on a weekend leave, he attended a picnic at the home of a classmate and met Cindy, his future bride. Six months after graduation, they were married at the magnificent Naval Academy Chapel, then built a beautiful family which included five children. During his 28 years of active duty as a Navy pilot, Cindy ran a tight ship at home. She loved being a mother, paying the bills, supporting his career, even through many occasions of separation with Navy duty. But in her mid-40s, Cindy developed a shift in her personality. Initial subtle changes like lack of interest in the kids' activities grew to a zero tolerance for Jim's military career. Jim left the Navy life he loved and began to fly for FedEx. Doctors couldn't explain the clinical picture, but by end of 2005, a neurologist made the diagnosis of Pick's disease a form of dementia similar to Alzheimer's, but far less common and can affect patients as young as age 20, involving parts of the brain that control emotions, behavior, personality, and language. Jim then retired so he could care for Cindy full time. After two and a half years, Cindy passed away at the age of 51. Jim was crushed, but the grieving process had begun long before Cindy died. On that fateful morning, he knelt in prayer with gratitude that he was able to be there for her. She was a great blessing. Jim was very happily married, expecting a long life growing old with her. But he said, that's not what God had planned for us. After two years in discernment, Jim spoke in prayer, Lord, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. His faith had always been his foundation. And when he brought his now grown children together to share his plan to become a priest, they weren't surprised. Even his daughter's friends had predicted that plan. Jim says Cindy taught him the meaning of selfless love and deepened his sense of gratitude. Five years after his goodbye to her, Jim heard another call. It was time to give back. In 2011, he was accepted to the seminary in Weston, Massachusetts, where others with a delayed vocation also began studies later in life. He was even reunited with a fellow classmate from his high school days. After two years of study, he was given permission to return to Philadelphia, the city he left at age 18 and now returned 40 years later. He compares it to his, quote, sojourn in the desert, unquote. Jim believes it was God's grace that helped him balance coursework, family life, pastoral assignments, and sees himself as an instrument of the Lord. Now, as Father Jim Cardosi, he describes joy as more than a feeling of happiness. It's an attitude. He found joy in caring for his wife, children, now grandchildren, and continues caring for his 91-year-old mother each week. He found joy in serving his country, and he now finds joy in serving thousands of people in his flock at St. Dennis Roman Catholic Church in Havertown, and that sense of joy is what gives him peace. We salute you, Father Jim Cardosi, your real champion, and we thank you for your service to our country and for serving as a father in so many ways. Thank you for listening at our new time here on Saturdays at 5 o'clock. A special thank you to our exclusive sponsor, Independence Blue Cross, and for support from Recovery Centers of America and Rothman Orthopedic Institute. We're very happy to welcome our two new weekly contributors who are adding great content and value to our message. Dr. Denny Carice, Chief Science Officer from Recovery Centers of America is your addiction expert, and Emily Rubin, Registered Dietitian, is your nutrition tip, both sharing valuable information on timely topics. With the pandemic, more and more people need help with recovery from addiction and controlling their weight after being restricted in activity and access to healthy food. 
visit our website to hear one of several options, the entire show, or you can repeat one of the segments, your real champion, your addiction expert, or your nutrition tip. Send us an email with questions for our experts, topics you'd like to hear, or stories of real champions in your world. Send messages to info at yourradiodoctor.net. That's info at yourradiodoctor.net. Follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. Friends, the entire country is facing a shortage of blood. Please consider donating your blood or platelets. Visit the American Red Cross website at redcross.org. That's redcross.org. The other big announcement, the American Cancer Society is seeing an alarming number of cancer screenings which have been delayed or missed because of the pandemic. Know that it is safe to return to medical centers for all your checkups, whether it's a sick visit to an emergency department, a sick visit to your doctor's office, a routine checkup for your child, or a cancer screening. If you've missed an appointment, call and schedule it today. This is your radio doctor, Marianne Ritchie, grateful to our faithful listeners and for the arrival of spring. Stay with us every Saturday at 5 o'clock. Invite a friend to listen on 1210 WPHT or stream it using any device with the app, odyssey.com forward slash listen, because I'm here to remind you that your health is your wealth. Thanks for listening to your radio doctor, Dr. Marianne Ritchie, presented exclusively by Independence Blue Cross. To contact Dr. Marianne and to listen to today's show as well as past shows, visit yourradiodoctor.com. This program is a paid commercial announcement and does not reflect the views of WPHT or its management. Today's program has been pre-recorded. Hi, I'm Lisa Thomas-Laurie. If you're on Medicare, I've got great news. Keystone 65 HMO plans from Independence Blue Cross have earned five stars. That's Medicare's highest rating for 2022. Some of these Medicare Advantage plans have no monthly premiums, no deductibles, and no co-pays for primary care visits and some prescription drugs. And all plans include dental, vision, and hearing benefits with no co-pays for routine exams. Medicare's highest rating, Philly's most popular plan. Don't wait. Visit ibxmedicare.com star. Every year, Medicare evaluates plans based on a five-star rating system. Keystone 65 offers HMO plans with a Medicare contract. Enrollment in Keystone 65 Medicare Advantage plans depends on contract renewal. This is a paid endorsement. This is your radio doctor, Marianne Ritchie. Colon cancer, number two cause of cancer death. Initial screening has been lowered from age 50 to 45 because numbers are rising in younger people. Join the Blue Lights campaign in March. Put a strand of blue lights on your home or business, a blue light on your porch. Send a photo of your lights or of you wearing blue to info at bluelightscampaign.com. Info at bluelightscampaign.com. Stop cancer. Get screened.